What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Shogeki no Soma. If you guys haven't watched my my Season 4 confirmed video, I suggest you guys check it out. I posted it yesterday, uh, but I'm really, I'm really kind of disappointed in this, in this episode. Uh, but towards the end, I will probably talk about my final thoughts on this. Because this is the season finale, but was it really worth a season finale? <laughs> Honestly, probably not. But before I get to my personal opinion, let's get into the actual review. So, we start off with Yukihira still trying to finish his dish. We see that he pulls out chestnuts and trying to enhance his dish and starts to, to barbecue it or use charcoal to continue to cook the venison. And it comes to a surprise to to everyone else, especially to uh, Sukasa, who didn't expect that. But it still remained a French dish. And we saw how Edina was basically just analyzing everything that she could about this dish. And still saying how everything was, despite how strange it may be, it was still a French dish. But... And the end, well, after their dishes had been, his Yukita dish had been cooked, they're at pretty much a, at a, a stand stop where they have to realize, well, who's going to judge his food? And I think it was hilarious to see how Yukihira knew the whole time that every that Irina, that Hisako and Megumi were just kind of there chilling, watching the whole thing, and just tells them to come over. They're surprised, but they're nervous at the same time because they know that if they were to judge that dish and they realize that Yukihira's dish is inferior that he has to join central but he doesn't care he says that he wants him to do it he wants him to actually be fair judges and actually to be you know being given a an actual judging instead of trying to think about the consequences that could come from him losing but after trying both the dishes we see it firstly when they try Yukihira's dish it was very it was very good. It was surprising to them. The chestnuts and all that. Were, and then the, having to use instant coffee. Which to me just sounds kind of weird. I don't know. I'm not a big French cuisine guy. But um, it, it was very surprising. But when they try Tsukasa's dish. We see how they're they're automatically just feeling a a peace. A, a tranquility that they didn't couldn't get with Yukita's dish. We see that his dish had just kind of been lackluster compared to Tsukasa's and the, the sweetness and the flavors were just perfect and with that we see that Yukihira fell short and loses but it came as a surprise to them and Yukihira himself that they that Tsukasa basically says you know you're too much of a liability you're too much of a wild loose cannon but I can't control you, so I can't have you be my assistant. Therefore, even even though you lose, and this wasn't a real shogeki, you you can't be with me. You would be more of a pain than anything else. And what he said, it would be more of a uh, it would kneel over in anxiety. So basically, he calls it off and just says, you know, forget it. But Yukihira is still bitter about the loss, which is understandable. And we see Nakari just go up to him and say, you know, were you taking pity on him? And he basically says, no, it's the opposite. And like, I couldn't have him with me. And it could be that he couldn't, he didn't want to have Yukihira with him because he could have been persuaded to have his ways changed. And if that were the case, then he wouldn't be by, he wouldn't be going by Central's standards or sta uh, Central's point of view. But... Um, he basically leaves, and then we still have uh, Megumi and Niku Megumi and Nikumi, sorry, taking out the rest of the, I guess, the central puppets, which was very, was very quick, and I didn't like that. I wish they had taken time. It felt like they really just kind of pushed it on us. Uh, I know in the manga there was a little more focus to that, to their victories, but it was just, if I'm not mistaken. And this only took up about two minutes, two and a half minutes of the whole episode. Which I would have wanted them to have a little more focus. Just kind of like what they did 
with Ryu in his episode a couple episodes back, but it never came to be. But it, I guess, it makes sense because it leaves us with the reveal that we have been waiting for since episode I want to say eight, eight or nine, one of those episodes, and they failed to do that. They failed. If this was going to be the finale, if this was what they were trying to accomplish, it wasn't what I expected. It really just takes it away. Uh, I mean, yes, they were celebrating a victory, just like they would have been in the manga, but it wasn't as shocking. It, I have a really tough time trying to really process this because it's it shouldn't have taken this long or used this as the cliffhanger but in the I guess I can understand but not really because it's just it just doesn't sit right with me for this being the the finale the way that they wanted to go about with just kind of picking up for the fourth season and we see that excuse me that after Yukihira announces that he is Juichiro's son we see that uh, at first well, in the manga, we saw that um, Asami would have reacted differently, but he doesn't. He seems to be just kind of unfazed by it and starts thinking that this was, well, how much was this plan and how much was this coincidence? Which, if you guys think about it, he's probably thinking that Jirichiro probably planned to have Yukihira become a Totsuki student. But it also could be that it is a coincidence because he didn't even expect to see... Uh, Asami, or at least Asami's child at the school, so it kind of, I guess that's kind of my way of breaking down what he means by that, but I didn't see the shock value, well, we kind of saw a shock value in Edina's face when he, when Yukihira says that it was his father, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough, you know, and I guess for my final thoughts on this season overall, is that it started off strong in the first two episodes first two or three episodes it started off strong with Kuga and then after Asami takes over which was supposed to kind of build up and it still hasn't got to that point we're at the point in the manga where it's building up where we're at the climax of things going with Asami it's just it was it wasn't that it didn't keep up. I mean, there was moments that, like this one, with the reveal of Yukihira's, you know, father being, you know, him being his father. Joichiro is his father, sorry. That it was, it wasn't enough. It, it could have been better. The season felt very slow. There were moments here and there where it, I really kind of liked what they were doing. But the pacing was off uh, the inclusion of certain things were were wrong I think in my opinion however I think that I'm hoping at least for season four to to really just try to stick to the manga and if they're gonna make any sudden changes or any changes at all really just let them be minimal I think that that's probably for the best uh, from here it's going to pick up and they're going to go and things are going to change uh, I'm hoping that in the next season also that we start getting into the real meats of the what what's going on currently in the manga but that is really it for me guys um, it comes out in spring so again if you guys haven't checked out my video please do I'd greatly appreciate it and like, comment, subscribe to that one and to this one if you haven't already. Stay safe and I'll catch you later.